All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the Investment League. This is gonna be my account update video. So if you've been following along, I'm gonna be doing a whole new strategy with this. Something that I've been preaching on my podcast and on my Instagram account. So if you haven't listened to those or checked out my Instagram, the links are gonna be down below. But essentially what I'm gonna be doing is implementing my monthly deposit into this account. So recently what I've been doing is taking the $2,100 I originally invested and using that money to grow and use that money that I've profited to pay for my debt, to knock down my debt, to become financially free a lot faster, and to build this long-term account so that when I do become debt-free, I already have a retirement account or some type of account already building up. So I'm not starting from ground zero years from now when I become debt-free. So previously, like I said, I was just using the money that I had in there. The new strategy that I'm gonna be doing is depositing $200 every single month. So what I've been preaching is continuously adding funds to your investing account instead of just putting money in there and letting it sit there we should be treating this like a bill like we do our car bill like we do our rent our electric bill our water bill all that stuff you want to be putting money aside into this as a bill not as an extra expense that way we can build wealth a lot faster and a lot more sooner than if we just put a couple dollars here or there we want to make it you know consistent and frequent like on a schedule so the idea and what I'm going to be doing is depositing $200 every single month, putting $100 into an ETF and $100 into a stock. I'm choosing the ARK ETF just because I like it and I like the companies that are in it. So ARK, I'm going to put $100 a month into ARK and then $100 into Tesla, which is inside the ARK ETF. So an ETF is an exchange traded fund, essentially meaning that it's a stock portfolio that somebody else created and it has companies within it. So you can put, you can benefit from any company within that ETF that, that makes money, that moves up. And if another company, you don't have to pick the, the right stock. You can just pick the ETF and then you can make money off of that. So Tesla is one of the top performing companies within ARK. So I'm choosing that one as my, as my individual stock to invest in. So every month, 100 into ARK, 100 into Tesla. And at the end of the year, we're going to see how much money did these two, uh, these two things make me by the end of the year. So by then we'll have about $1,200 into each, um, each one for 12 months. So we'll be able to see what did that generate us as far as profit. So we'll be able to keep track of each one individually so we don't have to do a whole lot of keeping track. This is gonna keep track for us. Um, the reason why I didn't do this strategy on like TD Ameritrade or E-Trade or anything like that because you can't do fractional shares unless you already own one whole share. So you have to have a whole share before you can dig into fractional shares. So because Tesla's worth $800, a little bit over $800, I have to have at least $817 in Tesla before I can get into fractions. So I'm able to, on Robinhood, just invest $100 no matter how much the, the stock costs and be able to profit from them going up or down without having to own a whole share. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Um, I have money in Bitcoin, so this is also um, contributing to my overall stock portfolio. I'm going to keep this strategy the same as previously, where I put $200 in here, and every time this goes up to $250, i am going to withdraw $50 of it. So the whole game plan behind this is to gradually take out my own money that I've invested and basically make this a free investment because all the money that's going to be in there is money that I've made profiting from Bitcoin going up. So right now... I'm at $125 that I put in there. The equity is $250, so I need about nine more dollars before I can take money out and then just let this thing continue to grow without my actual money being in there. And I'm going to benefit from that. The third thing that I'm going to do, or I should say the fourth thing that I'm going to do is option trading. So if you want to get a little bit more speculative and aggressive in your investing and you want to get into options, um, options are a little bit more risky because now you have time going against you. So when you buy shares, it doesn't matter what's happening today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, you're in it for the long run. And essentially the market goes up, everything goes up. If you're in a good company like Tesla and um, like Apple or Microsoft, companies that you know are gonna be around for a long time and always creating new ideas and new inventions and new products, those companies you can invest in for years and continue to make money off of them. When you get into options, you have to be right about them going up or down in a, within a certain amount of time period. but the money is a lot greater because you don't have to spend as much money to get the same amount of exposure as buying 100 shares of a company. So 
with all that being said I'm starting with the two thousand one hundred dollars that I originally started with and using all of that for options and then two hundred dollars a month is going to be separate so with that's why my buying power is 1962 and I'm going to tell you why it's that and not 2100 so I'm looking at Riot right here and this basically follows Bitcoin so I'm double dipping in Bitcoin as well and basically what I did was a credit spread where I agreed to buy shares at a certain price and then agreed to sell the shares at a certain price at the same time so if I scroll down to my transaction down here you can see that I bought two contracts at two dollars and forty five cents contracts worth 100 shares they control 100 shares so you have to have you have to multiply everything by 100 so this is going to be 245 dollars that I sold these for and then I bought these for 214 dollars each and because these strike prices right here are one dollar apart I need at least a hundred dollars to be able to do this strategy so this right here which is the strike price tells me what am I willing to buy the shares at so I would buy 100 shares at 30 dollars a share and then right here I would sell them for $29 a share so the difference right there is a dollar or a hundred dollars so I need a hundred dollars to do this strategy I got two of them so I took two hundred dollars of my money my buying power to open this contract this spread and because I sold the more expensive contract and bought the cheaper one I got paid sixty two dollars for it it was thirty one dollars difference between these two numbers but because I got two you have to multiply that by two or double it so I got paid sixty two dollars so with options you can sell contracts and get paid to agree to do something you don't you're not even obligated to do it you're just agreeing to do it if the stock moves in that direction within a certain time period so if uh, riot stays above twenty nine dollars by the end of March 5th then I will not have to buy shares not have to sell shares collect my sixty two dollars for free I get my two hundred dollars back and then I can use that to do whatever I want so 19 1962 plus the two hundred dollars that I used would give me two thousand one hundred sixty two dollars because of this also adding sixty two to my buying power so if you have any questions or need a deeper explanation on this in particular strategy um, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll get that answered down below or in the next video but um, those are essentially the moves that I'm making in this account so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can follow along my journey I'm still using this account to pay off debt I'm just gonna be doing it monthly instead of weekly so at the end of each month I'm going to look at how much money I made and take a percentage of that out to pay for debt and keep the other half in here to continue to grow this account all right so with that being said hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see y'all on the next update Thanks for tuning in. Peace.